so today we are going to start a series of lectures about the smooth muscle and we are will we will be going to discuss the contraction and excitation process of the smooth muscles and in this lecture specifically we are going to discuss the types of smooth muscles we have already discussed that there are three main types of muscles in the body the skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles so we have discussed in detail the skeletal muscles in the last few lectures we have discussed the anatomy physiology and the molecular level of the skeletal muscles how they contract how they respond to stimuli now we are going to discuss the smooth muscles and after that we will be discussing the cardiac muscles so coming towards the smooth muscles smooth muscles are known as the smooth muscles because they lack striation they lack striation the skeletal muscles we discussed that it had the dark and light bands dark and light bands dark and light bands so that's why they appear striated that striation was due to the specific pattern of the um, specific pattern of the actin and myosin filament the thick and thin filaments that specific appearance is lacking in smooth muscles they appear smooth that's why they are known as smooth muscles another difference between the skeletal muscles and the smooth muscles is the small size of fiber so the fibers of the skeletal muscles are very much small in length um, as well uh, as compared to the uh, skeletal muscles so these are the qualities which differentiate the smooth muscles from the skeletal muscles but the smooth muscles are of many types depending upon some of the qualities they are basically classified into uh, multiple organs so the qualities which are used to basically uh, divide smooth muscles into different types that is the physical dimensions like how they look what is their appearance similarly their response response to stimuli then the presence in sheets or not innervation how they are innervated and finally the function what is the function of the smooth muscles so smooth muscles are present in different organs different viscera of the human body like intestine blood vessels human eye skin and the 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 qualities which differentiate one type of smooth muscles from the other is the present is their physical dimension is their response to stimuli is their presence in sheets or not whether they are present in sheets or not and then their innervation how they are innervated by the nerve fibers and finally their functions these are the qualities through which the smooth muscles are classified into different types but that will be a detailed classification broadly speaking we will be discussing the two types of smooth muscles or broadly speaking the smooth muscles are divided into two main types one is the multi unit smooth muscles and the other is the skeletal uh, sorry the unitary smooth muscles so one type is the multi unit smooth muscles and the second uh, second type is the uh, unitary smooth muscles is we discussed that the smooth muscles are very the fibers of the smooth muscles are very much small as compared to the skeletal muscles they are not striated and the the fibers in the length and the and the size are very much small as compared to the fibers of the skeletal muscles apart from that there are few other differences between the smooth the fibers of the smooth muscles and the fibers of the skeletal muscles so the in the multi unit smooth muscles the fibers are uh, they are functioning like separate unit or discrete units each and every fiber is innervated by an, a separate nerve fibers and every fiber of the multi unit smooth muscle is 
behave uh, functioning independently or that is a separate units so that's why multiple units of discrete fibers they combine and they make the multi unit smooth muscles that's how the multi unit smooth muscles are formed and as we discussed they are innervated by nerves neurons innervate them and they are specifically excited by the nerves or the nervous system as compared to the unitary smooth muscles which are normally excited by other stimuli like hormones or any other enzymes so that's one difference between the smooth uh, the multi unit smooth muscle and the unitary smooth uh, muscles they are that that are they are present in separate independent fibers they are innervated by they are innervated by nerve fibers and they are more they are more responsive to the innervation or the nervous system as compared to the other enzymes and they are not present in the forms of sheets now the other type of the smooth muscle is the unitary or the syncytial or visceral type of smooth muscles this multi unit smooth muscles they are specifically present in the human eye specifically the iris and the skin where they are responsible for the erection of hair when you are afraid and your hair get erected that that is basically with the help of these multi unit smooth muscles and similarly the pupil and the iris their movement is basically with the help of the multi unit smooth muscles the other type of the smooth muscles is the unitary smooth muscles in this type of smooth muscle you can see these are the unitary smooth muscles a lot of small smooth muscle fibers they combine together to make a sheet as we discussed that in smooth muscles are basically classified according to their presence of sheet or not the performance the function the innervation the effect of different hormones so in this form of the smooth muscles different fibers of the smooth muscle they combine together so that they form a sheet and this type of smooth muscles is known as unitary smooth muscles they are also known as the visceral smooth muscles because they are present in the gut gall bladder and ureter so they are basically present in the intestines or the viscera that's why they are also known as the visceral smooth muscles another quality of the unit unitary smooth muscles is that the membranes of the fibers the membrane of these smooth muscle fibers they are attached with each other and there is there are gap junctions as well there are junctions gap junctions which we have already discussed there are gap junctions between the these fibers as well so they are present present in the form of sheet their membranes are attached with each other and they have different gap junctions between these cells so that signal or activity from one cell can get transferred to the other and from the other to the other and it gets transferred from one to another and another and another and it spreads any innervation or any stimulus that will excite one fiber here that excitation will spread from one to another and it will excite the whole sheet of this smooth muscle fibers and that's that's why they are known as the unitary smooth muscles they they contract as a single unit rather than being present uh, they rather than be behaving like multi units so here they they were present as discrete separate units and were innervated by nerve fibers just like skeletal muscle fibers every fiber was innervated by a separate nerve fibers but here in the unitary smooth muscles they they act together in unity and they are also known as visceral muscles and this 
property of spreading of stimulus from one smooth muscle fiber to the other smooth muscle fiber with the help of membrane, membrane and gap junctions. This is known as syncytium. Syncytium. So that's why they are also known as the syncytial smooth muscles. So smooth muscles they are different from the skeletal muscles because their fibers are small in size and they are not striated. Then the different types of smooth muscles in different organs are classified with the, um, by their qualities like their innervations, the presence of sheets, they either they are making sheets or not, their functions and their response to different types of stimuli. Those are the qualities which are used to qualify. Uh, classify the smooth muscles but broadly we have two categories the multi-unit and the unitary in the multi-unit the fibers are present as a single units are innervated by separate muscle fiber and they act independently and their good example is the uh, the muscles in the iris of the eye and the skin the muscles in the skin which are responsible for the erection of hair hairs in a fight fright response and the the unitary muscles they are present combined together they make a sheet their membranes are attached with each other as well as there are gap junctions between them and once a cell is excited the ex whole excitation can spread to the whole sheet and they combine in a single unit and that's why they are known as the unitary smooth muscles they are mostly present present in the gut the gallbladder the ureter etc that's why they are they any viscera so they are known as the visceral smooth muscles and this the spreading of the stimulus or excitation from one cell to the from one fiber to the another fiber and then excitation of the whole sheet is is known as syncytium and that's why they are also known as the syncytial smooth muscles hope you have understood this topic thanks a lot for watching the video